Hello Cancer, I'm here to give you insight and guidance for the month of April 2020. So this is going to apply to your Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, if the reading happened to not resonate, it's okay. You may want to check out what your Vedic birthday is, okay? And I'm going to put a link in the description box below so you can check and see uh, what your Vedic birthday may be. Some Cancers are actually Geminis so, uh, in Vedic astrology. So uh, just keep that in mind. That it definitely helped you gauge the reading. So I have a spiritual message for you. And okay, I already pulled this card and it is heighten your vitality. So heighten your vitality. This is probably a little too bright. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see that. Heighten your vitality. Okay, so heighten your vitality. So uh, some of you cancers, um, it's, it's a need for you guys to really heighten your vitality. Get some exercise um, in your routine. Um, if that's not the case, it's heightening your vitality um, energetically. Okay, I see all the colors here. So it's uh, uh, the colors of the rainbow. Okay, so uh, this for me is representing like the chakra. So there's definitely a need for you to bring some attention to certain chakra. Okay, uh, and the chakras are the energy centers of the body. Okay, so some of you may need to focus on your root chakra, your solar plexus, heart chakra, throat chakra, what, whatever. Okay, um, but uh, you will have to gain some insight on that. Um, maybe just look up um, different chakras and you know signs that it's imbalance okay and that'll help kind of guide you but it's really important to heighten your vitality i'm hearing also heightening your perception on things okay um you know we're all going through a lot as a country but it's really important that we take care of our, our health and not just our physical health but the mind body and spirit so it's really called for you cancers to really heighten your vitality get your energy levels up do things that are going to help you um express yourself do things that's going to help boost your energy boost your mood this may just be getting out in the sun okay so maybe if you're at home and you know just go outside get some sun get some fresh air just really focus on um you know activities that are going to really heighten your vitality i can see that um for some of you um heightening your val vitality is uh being with people that you love, people that uh, really care about you too, okay? Um, also communicating with others that are, um, you know, uh, really loving and supportive of you that can really heighten your vitality and really shift your mood. And I'm really getting a lot of um, cancer energy here, cancer energy, um, which is perfect because I'm reading for you, cancer. Uh, so it's nurturing yourself, okay? So when we're able to nurture ourselves, we then heighten our vitality, so we're going to take a look and see the energies that's surrounding Cancer in the month of April. What's surrounding Cancer in the month of April 2020? What does Cancer need to be aware of? One, two, three, four. Okay, so we have here the Seven of Cups. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Cups. And we have the Prince of Cups. So a lot of cups here. So Cancer, it's really important that you guys uh, really focus on grounding. Because the only solid card here we have is um, the King of Pentacles. And Cancer, if you're, if you're, if you're a woman, it doesn't matter, okay? I don't want to get into gender. But it's really important that you really ground yourself energy um, looking at this king of pentacles he looks really grounded okay um, your opposite sign cancer is Capricorn so tapping into that Capricorn energy and and, and gaining focus okay uh, fo uh, centering your Centering your energy, centering yourself, grounding yourself, okay? Also choosing not to to um, um, Choosing not to lose your focus, okay? So the seven of um, cups here, <laughs> and this is a really strange looking card here. So seven of cups here. Um, some of you cancers, um, there's an energy of having like an obsession with someone that is older than you. Someone that could be of a earth sign. Uh, this is Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. There's some type of obsession that you may have with them. Or this could be vice versa. Someone has an obsession with you. Really watch out for that. Um, but if that's not the case for some of you, um, I see here that there's a need to really uh, make a decision on what you're wanting. There's, a, there's seven cups here, which has all types of offers here. Okay. Um, I 
really feel like some of you are really needing to make up your mind, okay? And the only way that you're, um, oops, sorry, my phone. Some of you are really needing to make up your mind and decide what it is that you're you're wanting to do, okay? Um, because there's a lot of options here, and these and if these are not options, this is this is just uh, dealing with a lot of things, okay? This is having um, kind of like having your head in the clouds. For some of you, cancers, I'm picking up on um, like substance abuse, um, and it, and I don't want to just say abuse, but it's just some of you like to escape through substances and I'm seeing that and there's definitely a need for you to take care of your health here that's for some of you cancers so really watch out for the substances if you're using substances I mean the substances can be alcohol drugs but it can be anything okay but really watch out for that okay um, because it, it, it appears to be really clouding your judgment and your emotions it's like you're kind of um, flying by the seat of your pants but this is not going to apply to all cancers okay so do not leave comments and saying oh this is not me because if it's not you then you don't need to worry about it okay um but i'm seeing here um this decision for some of you there's an offer that's being presented to you and it's important that you choose the offer that's going to give you a sense of stability that's going to give you a sense of um I, I wanted to say dedication. Um, so, for instance, cancer, this could be a person that you're looking into being with, okay? You're not going to want to be with someone that's not dedicated. You're going to want to uh, be with someone that is dedicated to you and dedicated to that relationship, okay? Um, okay, so that's for some of you. Then it's Eight of Cups here. So, Eight of Cups is all about walking away and moving on to something much better, okay? Um <laughs> Some of you cancers are being offered something, okay? Uh, and, and this may not be you, okay? It, it, for some of you, it could be you. But you're being offered something, and some of you are choosing not to accept this offer, okay? Uh, cancer, I see that some of you may be trying to offer something to this person, but this person is deciding to... Uh, um, is the, this person is deciding not to take your offer, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. They're, um, they're deciding to move over to someone else, I'm seeing. Um, like they're, yeah, they're wanting to be with someone else. This is what I'm seeing. So if cancer's for some of you, this, this is like you're making this offer to this person. And you're deciding, no, I don't want your offer. I'm going to um, move over to this other person or I'm going to be focused on my money. I'm focused on my uh, security, okay? If this is not you making this offer, this is the other person offering you, okay? And you're deciding, you know what? I want stability. I'm not I'm not wanting your offer at this time, okay? Um, but the biggest takeaway with this is just um, really ground your emotions. There's a lot of cups here, so emotions could really be running high. A lot of confusion as well. Um, what's really important is that uh, you guys just really get back uh, in connection with yourself, okay, and and center and, and ground yourself, okay, because I'm seeing a lot of cups, and it seems like I'm really picking up on, like, substances, okay, like addictive behaviors, if it's not substances, this is, like, really addictive ways of responding emotionally or, uh, or being, okay, addictive ways of being, okay, like patterns. Okay, let me see. Pull some additional cards. Additional cards. Additional cards. Okay. Okay, so the same cards came out for Capricorn. Three of Wands, a Six of Pentacles, and the um, Star card here. So, um, so Cancer, some of you are... Um, really trying to figure out ways to like make money ways to create a sense of prosperity uh, uh, looking for a way to create some type of stability um, you're definitely on the right path because I see that some of you are really brainstorming and planning I also see this three of um, three of 
Wands as a uh, Sun and Aries energy, which is really a persevering energy. You guys are really wanting that stability because after Three of Wands comes the Four of Wands, which is all about stability, structure, a happy home, a strong foundation. And I really feel like you guys are going to be moving towards that. But it's really important that you uh, keep the faith and keep a positive mindset. Okay. Uh, Six of Pentacles here, you know, it does talk about finances, it talks about money. Some of you could be leaving a job for another job um i see here and um the job that you're leaving behind is actually going to be really um good for you okay this could be a job or a project that you're that you're leaving behind for another and i feel like it's really going to be fruitful um for some of you guys here okay because you're leaving you're leaving this you're walking towards this eight of the Eight of Cups is walking towards the King of Pentacles here. So that, that tells me like you're want, you're moving towards something more solid, okay, which is really good. Um, you're going to be moving towards something that, that gives you a return, okay. It gives you a return. If this is not a job, this is just being around people that are really nurturing, people that are um, really positive, people that are willing to give you the time and the day and, and their energy, that they're really wanting to help you. And following with the star card, I mean, this, this is like heaven sent. Okay, this opportunity, this person is really like heaven sent um, to you. Okay, um, what else am I getting? Um, I think that's pretty much it for the most part. Um, um, also, uh, I see some movement. I see um, relocation for some of you cancers too or a desire to relocate. I am seeing that here because the Three of Wands does talk about um, waiting for your ship to come in. It also talks about moving, okay? But I really feel like this move is, <laughs> is something financial. Like it's it's a job. There's, it's like, it's a job, okay? Um... And it's a job that's going to give you like emotional fulfillment as well. I'm also hearing too for some of you cancers, it's really important that you um, try to change your perspective a little bit um, in regards to work. Um, you know, if we had it our way, we would just be at home and collect a check, right? But <laughs> but that's not the case. We're in the real world, so really. Try your best to find joy and the and the work that you're doing. Okay, um, I know things are a little bit slim right now for people looking for jobs and finding jobs. But if it's something that you've never done before, okay, like a job you've never done before, and you were offered this job, um, try your best to find passion within it. You know, learn the job and find out find out ways you can um, make the job more fulfilling. And, and and happy okay uh, that's for some of you okay because some people may have to um, you know take a pay cut just depending on their personal situation you're having you may, you may have to leave a job to, in order to find um, well not leaving some people are, I'm seeing some people are or have gotten laid off and they're needing to find a job in order to have a source of income okay and since you're having to do that maybe a job you don't like but uh, try your best to change your perspective and find passion in that job so it's more fulfilling okay and most importantly just be thankful too because there's a lot of people who can't find a job for the life of them they've been laid off and they can't find a job and they're willing to work anywhere okay so most importantly cancer just be thankful um, but I definitely see uh, you guys leaving a situation for something much more solid, much more fruitful. But most importantly, just really watch out for, you know, um, your emotional responses. And if any of you are using any type of substances, be really careful for that. And remember to heighten your vitality. So um, that's going to be the end of the reading. I hope you guys liked it. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, um, just send me an email. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month and God bless.